What's going on guys? Today we're out here at one of our new food plots that we're putting in and we've got it planted for a summer plot with some bachelor pad and velvet plus from backwoods but today we are adding a water hole to this food plot. Now if you've watched our videos when we planted this food plot about a month ago you can kind of see that line of stuff through the middle of the field. That's actually a, a creek kind of. It's a runoff from a spring, two springs actually, that meet back in these woods and then it's turned into a creek, you know, over time. But it it just doesn't hold a lot of water. I mean, it's got, it just rained last night and it's got a little bit of water in it, but we're getting in later into the summer where we're not gonna be getting a lot of rain here. And we're in Mississippi, so it's like 100 degrees every day. That's gonna dry up and I know for a fact, come bow season, during the velvet season, mid-September, then when our uh, velvet season opens, not velvet, regular bow season opens up in October, that's gonna be dry. So we're gonna put this water hole right here on the edge of this food plot. My plan is, is to have a stand on the opposite side. I'm not sure if I'll ever come shoot all the way across this food plot. It's, it's probably about 40 yards, 40, 50 yards maybe. I don't. I'm not comfortable shooting that far to deer. Um, anyways, but it's still gonna be here. So we're gonna have food here, we're gonna have water here. The, the deer won't have a reason to go elsewhere if they're coming here. They're not gonna have to go to water first to come here, leave, go find another water spot. They're gonna be able to come here, drink water, eat the food plot, whatever we've got coming out of the feeder. But this is a water hole on a budget. Now I know some people just dig a hole. I'm not gonna take a chance on putting all that work in it and not even holding water. So what we have is a fun sickle pool from Walmart. About $10 before tax. I was wanting to go the route with the um, Rubbermaid totes, you know, but those are, when you start getting on up there 50 gallons or so, those are above $100 trying to keep it cheap so this isn't gonna hold as much water but what I'm gonna do is, is we're gonna dig it out into the ground set it down the ground and it's pretty flimsy on the bottom so I think I'm gonna backfill it with dirt I'm not sure yet we're gonna make it sure it's real flat on the bottom where it sits down into it and we're probably gonna backfill it I haven't decided yet I guess we'll see when we get there see how it feels I'm just worried about a deer stepping off in it and it's hoof puncturing it or something which again it's only ten dollars if it happens it's not like you add a bunch of money you just pull it back up put a new one in but we're about to get to it before it gets too hot get this hole dug real quick get it in there All right, so got it filled in around the edges. Put a little bit of dirt in the bottom of it. I didn't put much because I do want to have as much water in there as possible. Oh, um, we'll see how it works. Like I said, I don't know if I'm gonna have time to go get some water and get it filled up today or not. But right here on the edge of this food plot, I think early season when it's hot, if they're looking for somewhere to drink. They're gonna be right here because it's gonna be right beside this food. This food plot shaded most of the day. I mean, you have the middle of the day where it's not, but the sun comes up on this side, which is trees, goes down on that side, which is trees. So majority of the day, part of this food plot shaded. I think they're gonna spend a lot of time here. They're already spending a lot of time here, and it's only June, so. There she is, a $10 water hole. Oh. We're gonna move, once I get water in, I'm gonna move the tactic cam over here and put it on it. We're gonna see how quick they start using it. But, if you're on a budget, I think this is gonna be a cheap way to make sure you're holding water and to get a water hole. I mean, we could have just dug this out and hoped that, that, hoped that a hole held water, but we've done that before and it not held water, so we're gonna play it safe. 
$10 pool from Walmart. I think it's gonna work. We'll update y'all.